<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And Fat Ninja couldn't be here today. He's off doing family stuff, so we're going to do this podcast without him. Uh, he enjoyed the episode. He tweeted some stuff. But all right, we're here talking about Westworld Season 2, Episode 6, Phase Space. So the first thing we're going to go over is... Uh, we had a new and interesting previously on in the episode. Yeah. I, I really liked it. It was very different than most shows. They had like a like very stylized previously on that really only thing I showed you was like the characters that are gonna be in the episode. Yeah. Like yeah. it didn't prepare you for much, which some of these previously ons prepare you a little too much. Yeah, sometimes. And they're yeah. like, Hey, this is gonna happen right now. Uh but I liked it. It was very cool, very short and sweet. And I, I thought it was a neat little It kinda got you in the like okay. This and like is in the cool. Westworld you're just like and got like yeah, showed you a little it was thing. Like fast paced and Yeah. It was like being in Bernard's mind. Um so then after that we see Dolores talking to Bernard or Arnold again. Yes. Uh th- that's like I really love when we see those scenes. Those are like some of my favorite this season. And uh we have the question again. Is she talking to Bernard or is she talking to Arnold? And if you watch it with subtitles, you watch it with sub. They check. I feel like they are purposely doing some of these things with subtitles. Uh, just to fuck it, with us. Yeah, it says Bernard. It does say Bernard. But last in the week but in the in, in in the next on for last week, it says Arnold for him. So it's very hard right. if you go by off of subtitles. Um, but that was a really cool scene. She's basically doing what Williams doing to Jim Dalos, but with Bernard. Right, and like they've showed us this scene like two, three times. Uh, I think this is like the third time we've seen it. But yeah. each time it gets longer. Yeah, um, it's kind of it's like the Jim Dale scene, except that was a whole episode of it. Like we just yeah. seen it just bit by bit. When she, it, it, and and we all, I always at least had that impression that she was the one in charge of the meeting. Yeah. Um, but when she's like freeze all motor functions. When she like, said that, I was literally like, oh fuck. Yeah, like even though I I, I felt that. Uh huh. Like it's still. It's and then still, especially because he freezes too. Yeah. And then she's like, take a seat. And then she said she gives him the William speech, and then we hear this little line from her. This is a test, one we've done countless times. What are you testing for? Fidelity. And she says the exact same thing that William says yeah. to Jim Dalos. So it makes me wonder, is this... I, I still wonder because it's like very not sure. Is this in the future or the past? Like, is this them setting up Bernard, or is this setting up Arnold in the future? It's very, very not clear. Because it could easily be like Ford made Bernard, and he's just like, you know, Arnold had a really good relationship with Dolores, just like William had it. Like they had, they, like they said previously, that you need a close person to do that for yeah, that's for true. fidelity and all that. So have her do that that would make sense it it makes sense either way so it's hard to really know i've never know. really thought of it being before um it does make sense that way mm-hmm. i just really want it to be in the future i want it to be in the future what, too well especially because it would be the reverse of last season because i feel like yeah. if it is the past it is very similar to last season which i wouldn't be it wouldn't be terrible no um but I thought about that during the episode. I was like, we still don't know. One thing that I th- I kind of like the thing out there that people pointed out is um, the screen ratio, uh, the aspect ratio is the exact same in there as we do see when he's in the cradle. I still so I, that. I wonder. Fuck, I meant to look <laughs> at that. I wonder if those correlate or not, or if that's just a style choice they did, like when things are getting weird, you know? Like, yeah. It's very interesting the stuff they're doing with that kind of thing. I was trying to... The, s- the second time, because we always watch it twice. The second time I was watching Yeah, we always watch it once, and then, the, like, the night it's on, of course. Yeah. And then the next day with subtitles. And try to, like, I try to notice, like, other stuff. Yeah, and that that's really when you don't really pay attention to the story, because we got that. Mm-hmm. You're looking at, like, people's, like, facial expressions and yeah, seeing what they're, they're really I saying. I tried not to like look, because I was at the gym. I tried not to look up and see the bear running through any of them. <laughs> but I did look at that a couple times, usually during Maeve scenes. But, um... I, I have to admit, I rewatched it uh, like about an hour ago, mm-hmm. and I fast forwarded through the first show. Like when they wrapped up Shogun World, I fast forwarded through that the second wow. time watching it. Cause I, I watched I'm the whole not, thing. Yeah, as you probably know, if you if you watch this channel a lot, we're not the biggest fans of Shogun World. I, I, I was looking so much forward to it, and it let me down in such a big way. Yeah, I wasn't looking forward to it. I, I, kn- I know we're in the minority for that. Yeah, but I, I was I just, not looking forward like to it. it. I did not like last. So then it, it it said that it met your expectations. Correct, <laughs> but didn't mind it at all this episode. No, I thought it was fine. I just didn't want to see it again. Oh, uh, I kind of wanted to because I liked it when he cut off that dude's hand. I did like that sword part. Was pretty goddamn cool. Yeah, 
Yeah. I felt that's what we were, that's what we were lacking. I thought in the first time. You know, the part when they when they first walk in and like. There's those two dudes there, and she makes them kill each other, and then yeah. the guy walks out. When they first showed that dude, I'm like, hey, it's that guy from Flash. Did you wonder why? You didn't get that. Oh, the thinker? Yeah, remember when he sent in the first part of the episode? Yeah, when he, he makes kill those them, dudes? He, he sent those people off. and Yeah. yeah um, I don't remember what they were called, but that's what it reminded me of. Um, Did, did you wonder in this episode, when she gets attacked by uh, Ghost Nation, mm-hmm. why she didn't just speak Go- Ghost Nation and have them kill themselves? Kind of. She started running, and I was like, just turn around and, like, fucking Jedi mind trick him. To be fair, the guy that she's yelling at and says that their their place is hell or whatever the hell she said to him, Mm -hmm. he didn't have a weapon, so I don't know what he's going to kill himself with. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. (laughs) Yeah, I don't don't know. Like, he ran off after her or on the horse. He did not have a weapon in his hand. Um, What were we talking about before we moved on to Maeve? uh, Oh, you're talking about what, what you rewatching it and looking at stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, the cradle part is like so when you know he walks out and they show uh, Anthony Hopkins' dog as a kid. You know, yeah. the Greyhound walks through, and then I was like, the first time watching it, I was like, oh, is that his dog? Like, I wasn't the, the sure. The second I saw that dog, I was like, oh motherfucker, he's back. Well, and I was thinking like, holy shit, because they, they they did tee it up this episode. She's like, oh, someone's sending messages, and he's like, I can not see the messages. We can't see who and stuff like yeah. that. I well, was like, oh, it's Ford, but yeah. like you're not sure. Because that, that's kind of like what they had last season. Oh, my God, there's these messages. Is it Arnold? You right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but then I was thinking, so this is like virtual reality, kind of. Yeah. Ford is in control of the cloud, as some people have been saying. <laughs> yeah. But so, like, so the dog, I was thinking, oh, the dog's back alive. And the dog isn't back alive. This is all fake. Is it, well, it's not. It's weird. Cause, it's like, like cause memory. Everything's fake. But it's it's like literally they hopped into Westworld's, like, hard drive, kind of. Yeah, but isn't it like memories though? Like no, I I did watch I watched the um, behind the scenes thing they put out for this, mm-hmm. and Jonathan Nolan kind of described it as like if one of those balls get lost, that's the area where they go back into and they to make another one. So like it is memories, yeah. but it's constantly being updated. So it's the same. Th- it, to, it, to me, that's the same thing as the, you know what I mean. Yeah. So like, you can make another Bernard. He'd have the, he'd have the same exact feelings that Bernard has. At the same time, right? But I get what you're saying, where it's like, like it's, it's not, just it's just in a in a in a game kind of. Yeah, like it's not reality necessarily. Necessarily, it yeah. is. It's reality memories, but it's not. But but also that place controls Westworld, so it, so like it does affect it. Yeah, but like the dog, just because we see the dog again. Yeah, well, that's he just liked the dog. He could, he can yeah. make anything happen. He's making Dolores do shit. All of a sudden, she's powerful. He's controlling everything. Yeah. Which makes me wonder, we have to get, which I did see people say that Anthony Hopkins is supposed to be, I think, in the next three episodes. Oh, right. Um, We should, I really hope we get a speech from him why he's doing this, like why he's making all the hosts go crazy. I think it's because he's batshit crazy. Yeah, but he's got to have a reason. At least what his explanation of it, because every crazy person has a reason why they're crazy, you know? Right. I would like to hear his why. Um, It'd we'll, be like Michael B. Jordan in uh, Black Panther. We're like, yeah, you have y- a good idea, but. Dude, calm down. Yeah, but he like like though that, that's Anthony yeah. Hopkins. That's Michael B. Jordan. You like you yeah. can be crazy. Yeah. Um. So a- after that, we get we see new Teddy, and I I I I, mean, I, like, I like Teddy before, but I really like this new Teddy, especially because <laughs> he's an asshole, and like a, a, definitely a badass, but he's still the same Teddy kind of like he has those memories, and he is almost pissed off that she changed him in a yeah, way. He's very he's almost bitter Teddy. Yeah. Like I wrote down here. New Teddy is snarky to Dolores, which I really oh, like yeah. that. When she like la- gonna... later in the episode, I think it's the second time we see him when they're actually on the train, and she goes, "Have you ever thought about leaving this place?" And he goes, "I used to think I'd never leave, but I guess you changed that too." Yeah, you fixed that too. Yeah, I, I love his little concert tour, which you can tell he's. I feel like he's gonna be too much of what she wanted, and that's yeah. why he's gonna die at the end. Well, it makes me like what I was wondering every time he said something snarky like that. Um, so did she fix it so he's not she's not I, the thing that he wants anymore? You know uh, what I mean? Like Yeah, I saw I watched a video, they turned up three things. They turned up his um his ability to like he gets information and like knows how to respond to it and like obtain it very fast. They turned up his <laughs> aggressiveness and they turned that up his sense. oh there's one other thing. I don't remember what the third thing was. But they turned up things like so like he's supposed to be really smart too now because oh. of the things they turned up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember a uh, podcast I listened to talked about they screen grabbed it and said what oh, they yeah. turned up to. And they like they turned down his compassion. 
Yeah. Yeah. As you could tell when he walked up to that day and like, shot him in the Boom! Head. We'll find him. Yeah, we'll, we'll find your dad. Get on the train. Let's go. And you, I like the look that Angela gave. Yeah, she was like, that's what you wanted. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, I, I really loved that scene because they're arguing and I was like, oh, what's going to happen? And then you see a look in his face. I was like, is he going to kill him? Is he actually going to? And then he just walks up, shoots him right in the head. I felt bad for Phil. Um, and Speaking of Phil, uh, later on in the episode, Teddy gives Phil a gun. Yeah. And says, "This is my. This is the last of my uh, morality, or whatever." And closes the door, hops off the train to the other part. They unlink his cart and send Phil right into Delos and blow him up. Yeah, that were was... you a little disappointed that we only saw a little bit of the building shaking from the inside? We didn't see like mountains exploding and well, shit. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, so like, I forget what I was watching. I watched something, or I, maybe I was reading it on Reddit. So they were like, "Well, we know that." Elsie and Bernard are in there because they felt it. Yeah. But they go, we don't know when the other people, if they were there at that time. And I'm like, no bullshit. They they, they, they the watched the train they, on the map drive in there. Yeah. So and the guy's like, literally, what's that? Oh, that's the train. And then it goes in there and the whole building shakes. So does that, like, does that affect, like, is that, is like a, is that like a 9-11 thing where it's like going to fucking come tumbling down? Or is it? Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because it didn't seem to do anything to the room that they were in. It seemed LCS. like it just shook the bu- shook the building. Yeah, like they're so like, I don't know. What, they're like, I mean, we're here. I, th- I think if anything, it trapped them in there, and I can see why. Because um, because the, the next on they attack. But can't they go up the roof? That's where they landed. Uh, maybe. But are they gonna like fucking jump off? Because like, oh uh, well, that's they, true. they just parachuted in. They didn't land with helicopters, so that's that I think true. they're trapped. Is what the point of that was. Oh, uh, maybe I didn't think of it that way. I thought they were like trying to take it down. Oh, uh, that's town. what I thought too. But that's talking about yeah. it. It made me think that. Oh, yeah. uh, so we got Stubbs and Charlotte Hale, uh, and this is what I, I heard her say this in the episode, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. It's almost been a week because there's stuff left in this building to shoot. So she says it's almost been about a week. How there's stuff still left to shoot. So we know the future scene where Bernard says, uh, "I killed them all." Is two weeks in. Mm-hmm. So a week in, they get a new. They have a t- Dayless team showing up to attack that we haven't seen anybody from. Mm-hmm. And then in a week, all of them are gone. So do you? And we saw in the next one they attack, but it's weird to me that so all those Dayless members probably get attacked next episode and die. But we haven't heard about that in the future two week scenes where that other team's there and all that. You know what I mean? Oh, so you and like Stubbs I, is there and Charlotte's there. There isn't that kind of weird. That yeah. just a week goes by between those two teams showing up and not a mention of anything like that. Yeah, so I guess like when so like when that team arrives and the guy is like a total dick to Stubbs. And yeah. Stuff. So that's the first team. So that team with like the girl from Get Out is yeah, the, the g- second team. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that until you just. I, and that. I was wondering. I was, I like, was, thinking I was like, how would... do we see these? There's a new. There's a Dayless team here. Like. Seems like it was the first responders when they got up there, especially because Bernard's in the beach and all that, or yeah. Arnold, whoever it is. So I thought that was very interesting. That like sh- that was like a throwaway line, but I was like, that really gives so, it a time period. But you said Hale said that wasn't that Elsie that said that? No, it's Hale. She's walking Charlotte Hale walking with Stubbs down the hall when she walks up to him and goes, "Where the hell have you been?" Which well, he just disappeared from Ghost Nation, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But she she says that Tim and those two walking down the hall when they have Abernathy. Oh. Uh, did Elsie say that too, though? She might have. If she did, I didn't catch it. I think Elsie might have said that to Bernard too. Like it's been about a week or something. Something about oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm making it up. But she said something about like, uh, and then she said, "Well, why they kill these guys? They're just like the." Oh yeah, she did. She said, "Why they kill the uh, greeters? The greeters? They're they're no harm or whatever." Yeah, I thought she said something about a week too. But maybe I made that up. I don't know. There's so much stuff uh, there. Um. So she does that, and then they they crucify Abernathy, and then I wrote down the New Dealers team, but we already discussed Wait, that. Wait, before you go on, I got a question. Yeah. So, if they're the first responders... Yeah. When's Maeve? And I I'm do- assuming Maeve is... I think Maeve, Bernard and Elsie, Stubbs and Charlotte Hill, that's one timeline. Okay, because on. remember, there was people already with boxes on their head in trees. Oh, that's true. Well, those I would assume those that's like security from because he called them cops or whatever. Oh, so those are like so Stubbs I, I, guys. I, I, yeah, I would assume. Oh, that. Okay, all right, that makes more sense. Um, yeah. Okay. So, so what do you think about them crucifying Abernathy? Basically, I mean, they just screwed him to the table, they to the chair, but they definitely made it look like he was like Jesus putting him on the cross. You know what I yep. mean? That looked. I mean, I it looked I, fucking painful. They didn't turn down his pain before they did. Yeah, that. Yeah, and but what's interesting about that is this goes into Stubbs a little more too. Is he seemed very like, what the fuck are you doing to him? Yeah. And in the future, we see him, too, which this could maybe go into him and Charlotte Hill escaping, seeing the hosts attack them. 
and he gets a feel for how dangerous this place really is now. Yeah. So maybe that's why he's different in the future. But I thought it was weird that he had like empathy for I the actually, host. And I actually felt bad for Stubbs this episode. For it, what, like what part? And I think it was. Oh, I, like when that guy made fun of his name being Ashley? That was one of them. <laughs> he's like, Ashley? <laughs> really? Um, when he said that, I was like, oh, that's right. His name's Ashley. I always just call him Stubbs. Yeah. Um, and also, like, they're like, like, she's like, uh, I pointed like that's her over there. <laughs> yeah, um, Charlotte Hill, my phone. <laughs> um, she was like, you're a sec- you're a security for an amusement park. She goes, good luck on your next resume or something uh, like yeah. that. And I was like, well, that was cold. But yeah. like, it's not his fault. And he was like the only one that said, hey, we better bring guns. These fuckers could kill us. Like, yeah. in, like last season, he was like the only one worried about that. Um, maybe Teresa a little bit. Um, yeah, look what happened to her. Yeah. So, but, and then I forget there was something else. I'm just like, they're like, oh, well, um, in the first episode, they're like, uh, he said something to Strand, and Strand like said some comment. To oh him yeah, that's like, true. It's yeah, not his fault. Yeah, like, everyone's kind of addicted to him. I hope he gets a pretty badass moment because he hasn't I, had much feel, to do I, this season. I feel but like, they're teeing him up. I feel like to do. A I lot. feel like they're teeing him up for a badass moment, mm-hmm. and I feel like they're teeing um, Felix up. Oh for yeah, a, yeah, for a moment against the other two. I thought that was really cool when he walked away. I was wondering, I was like, is he gonna? Because sometimes he's a pussy and he'll just do what they want. Yeah, so I, I was wondering about that. And how how much like they gave him a gun? They gave what's his name a gun too? Sizemore a gun also. I think because they probably know how much Maeve trusts him and how much he helped out Maeve. Like they probably had some like well, off screen talks w- about that. I would give him a gun too, but I mm-hmm. still wouldn't give Sizemore a gun. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that little fucker. Although, I mean, I know he stole a phone and she doesn't. So. That's true. Um, okay, so back back to your it, shit. I, I, all right, I, so they they wrapped up Shogun World, and as I said, I fast forwarded that shit. But what do you think about them just wrapping up Shogun World? I mean, well, we, I, I'm assuming that they did Shogun World short this season, and it's going to be a bigger part in the following seasons of the show. Well, you know, at, at first I was like, so the whole Shogun World was pointless because basically they, they walked they, it up they by go, accident and then walked out and walked out and none of them came with them, but. The other dragon chick came with him. Oh, she did? I yeah, think, I think, she was there when the Indians came. I guess that makes there. sense. Yeah, she's yeah. She's there. So, like, the only the only the other two stayed back. Mm-hmm. So the fact that she that she's still with them. I guess that does that does that, make it a little more important yeah. to add in a new character. Yeah. And it was it was almost like a little crossover type thing where there's, like, all yeah. this this little place. Yeah, so, and, and she seemed cool, so whatever. Yeah. I don't know, it wasn't, I feel like her and, I feel like the two dragons are going to have a lesbian scene at some point. A lesbian robot scene. You know, it's Westworld, so that's definitely possible. I just, yeah. Um, so we're going to go into the man in black and Grace. What do you think about them this episode? I think it proved that neither one of them are a host. Fuck, I wish. Everybody in the fuck. I, can we just stop every time there's a new character or someone does something slightly weird? Oh, they're a host now. Which I know, like, we have theory time with Plika, so it's really helping us out doing theories and shit on that. Yeah. But I'm so sick of, is the man in black a host? Is he not I a think host? Pro- is, I think, is now, Grace a host? The funny thing is, if I thought he was a host, I'd probably think the other way. Yeah. Like, oh, he doesn't remember that she's afraid of elephants I, or it, she loves elephants or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I felt like they had a real conversation, like where he's, he's like, you want to drink? She's like, I thought you didn't drink. And he's just like... He's like, yeah, and she's like, oh, you don't drink in the real world, but yeah. and she's like, I'm glad you can tell it. And then she was so. like, oh, you're fake in real life, and this is what this is how you really are. Yeah, and then and and she kind of proved it in their conversation a little bit, yeah. So like that was to me, I, I really it, did like seeing them talk because we don't really get to see anybody talk to the man in black like that. Yeah, so I thought that was very interesting. And she didn't pull any punches. I liked it when she was like, yeah, and then I went over there and went to the other places and rode that for a little while, and he's just like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. She's like, like, I don't want to hear that shit. She basically said, yeah, I went over there and fucked a lot of people. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I did like that. But then the whole at the end of the conversation, he's he's like, they have a moment, and he's like, all right, in the morning. He was like in tears. Yeah, we'll go. We'll leave together. Because we got kind of revealed, which you can kind of assume, but like they confirmed it, that his whole point is to just die here in yeah. the West world. Um, and she's like, I'm not going to let you do that. And he's like, all right, in the morning, we'll leave together. And then she wakes up and he's gone, which I I totally figured that was gonna happen by the w- like the way the conversation was going. I I never really thought about it. Like I was just like in the moment, mm-hmm. and then I was watching with mom and she's like, "Oh, he's not gonna be there." And yeah, I, I, I like, like when oh, she wakes yeah, up because right. they give her a lot of lines like the Man in Black. And she yeah. wakes up and she's like, "Motherfucker!" I did like the fact that he thought she was a host at first. I did too. He's like, "Ford, you're this sick. You're gonna make a host of my daughter." And she's like, "What are you? You've been she, out in the sun too long. You've lost your fucking mind." <laughs> yeah, which I mean, it's totally something Ford would do. But it's also, I felt like it's them making fun of the people that think Men in Black's a host. 
I feel like it could because I mean, they can't really predict that, you know, that people would have thought that this season. Yeah, but there's probably people. But uh, but I mean, they I I get that. It did seem like like almost like okay, not everybody in this every new character isn't going to be a host. Right. I think it was like them saying that a little bit. I think it also proved that Sizemore's not a host because it is. I'm sure people think he's a host. I think I think so. Yeah. Because he's not going to call on. Hey, come get me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right. Yeah, it'd be interesting if people do show up to help them, like if the team split up and however that works. Yeah. Um. So we're going into Bernard and Elsie, which they had some pretty interesting stuff this episode. But this first thing I want to talk about is I have a theory. And oh, we'll brother. Maybe this theory can build more by the time we go into theory time with Plika. Uh, so if you watch this with subtitles, the entire episode. Now, this could be this could be them fucking up. They do fuck up a lot with subtitles for okay. HBO stuff. Like with Bernard and Arnold, for yeah. instance, last week. Yeah. Um, but the entire episode, it says hail when Elsie's talking. Which I, I agree. I noticed that. Um, there's a theory out there that Bernard is being uh, looped through his all his memories. Right. So, and he's in the, the past episode he was with, with uh, Elsie. Remember, he's talking. He's like, am I here? Like, what's going on? And yeah. like, It seemed like she wasn't responding. Like, she didn't know he was going through that breakdown and all that. Totally. So what if they put hail and that was them, like, that's them either giving hints in the subtitles or that's how it was in the script and stuff. That's how, why it says it there is because it's really Hale walking him through. But in his memories, it's Elsie. So he's being looped and she's kind of just playing the part of Elsie. Like, oh, go into here. What happened to figure out how to get forward or how to do whatever. And it's and that's why it said Hale in the subtitles. <sighs> And I like, because you know, I we could, we talked. With, I don't know if it was on this podcast or through time and Plika about how how they're gonna reveal that he's being looped yeah. and stuff like that. That'd be the perfect way if he's starting to have memory flashes and it's just like flickering between Elsie and Hale, and they figure it out or something like that. Yeah, I mean, that I, it's hard to do. Do you know what I mean? And make it like like uh, believable. Oh, the fuck, they're both talking about <laughs> robots. <laughs> that was my favorite line of the whole thing. Was like, did you turn off the? robots that are killing people <laughs> no okay then go do something you know what i mean that yeah. was hilarious um yeah i mean it's it's conceivable i have nothing to say that that couldn't be it yeah i just thought about, as i was watching i was like it says hey i was like there is a theory he's being flooped that'd be pretty interesting if like that's like a little tease i just picture someone who works for like hbo or whoever does the closed caption like listening to a podcast about <laughs> like fucking i don't know new girl typing in shit and it was like oh that's hail and then, see but like i, I don't I, know how that works i so. would get it if it was but like it's the entire episode well yeah they're like and oh that's most, still hail most of the time when they fuck up it's usually like once in the episode it'll say like new walter or then the next time it'll say the guy's real name or whatever they, and they i swear to fucking christ they fix that yeah see that that's where it could be wrong and i don't like not 100% on this theory. It's just something I thought of during the episode. I wanted to bring it up. But I thought that'd be interesting to add into the theory of do you, him being Do you looped. remember the new guy that comes and parachutes and makes fun of Ashley? Do you remember <laughs> Do you remember his name? No. But I know you're talking about the, the guy, the leader, basically. He of says the something group. like, hey, like, you can talk to Ashley here or whatever. And it says Ensberg or something. And mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, oh, I got to remember that guy's name. And I like that didn't. guy, too. No. <laughs> Because then the other guy talked and it said the same name and I was like, oh. motherfucker, I can't keep track of this. <laughs> like I can no. So that maybe so then that's your thing against my theory. Maybe they do fuck up. They do fuck up. And I'm not saying it's a bad theory. That'd be kinda cool. I don't know how they would show us that shit, but like the same way they showed his memories before when he saw the other Bernard and all that. I think he would he would just start realizing he's in the present day now. Yeah. But I I, I thought that'd be pretty interesting. So then we get the reveal. Ford is in the cradle, and he gives us this neat little message. Hello, old friend. I, I really like that moment. I like too. They. I was, it was creepy as fuck. Yeah, they show him through the piano, like to show, like it, to kind of show you that, like it's not actual Ford. Yeah. It's like a, it's 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 a memory of him basically. But he's in here. He's still controlling shit. Yeah, he's, ba- he's up in it. Yeah. So I, th- I think that's awesome that Ford's back. Uh, then I put. I think this confirms, which you brought this up too, so I wrote it down. Uh, the red ball was definitely Ford because they showed us exactly how that would work by opening up Bernard's brain, taking out his silver ball, and putting it into the cradle. So just do that with the red ball. So you think they? Because in- he said, "I brought something here or someone." So I yeah. think that, and then and then right after that, they show him picking up the red ball. So do you think? So here's the here's my question. Our big fucking theory is that Arnold is alive at the end, not. But that kind of fucks it up. Yeah, that fucks us over. Totally. I still think it's I. St- I still think Arnold has to be in the future or something. Which I mean, like I said, previous, like in the beginning of this podcast, well, uh, that what, beginning well, scene could be them initiating Ar- or Bernard and what if I don't know his his whole thing is I'm gonna go in 
to the I'm uploading my consciousness into the control or whatever the that's cradle called. cradle. Uh, control is better. Uh, no, I'm just making that up. So I'm gonna upload it in that. Now take this ball and put it in this. But no, nah, but it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it can't. It can't go both ways. It could. It could be also because it's these. This show is still, even though there's seasons, it's one continuous story. <laughs> Last season, it was always like, oh, is it is it is it Arnold fucking this shit up? And they said it was Bernard. But what if in the like we're gonna get a little thing where Dolores say that is Dolores making trying to make Arnold a Bernard in the beginning of the yeah, show. Yeah. And it's not working quite well, just like Jim Dallas's wasn't working. So they put the little ball inside the cradle. So it was him kind of doing stuff all along. And when uh, when Arn or when Ford goes in there or something, they take it out and they put that into a host. So like it's been sitting in the cradle for a, ri- a while, mm-hmm. and now Ford's in there or something like that. Yeah, but I feel like it could go back into Arnold being in the cradle because how we got all those things last year was like, oh, it's Arnold's old code, which they said was Ford. But I feel like they could go back on that. I was kind of thinking this too, and this is this is out there. So, and I don't usually have out there stuff. <laughs> so, when, like, there's the thing that Teddy is Bernard, and Bernard is t- at the end. Yeah, and, you know that flip. Which I was a little afraid of that at some points. Because because he rides on the on the train. Yeah, he woke up on the train. I was like, oh fuck. That's what Dolores I thought too. brought up like five minutes ago. How many times you wake up on that train? And I was like, oh, please don't prove us that it's, that it's Teddy. But so what if? <sighs> That ball that Bernard stole and brought to Ford, he put into Teddy. But somehow, like when it gets, somehow, and we haven't seen it yet, it gets taken out but put into Bernard. And that's because that ball has something to do with Ford being in the, I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? I see what you're getting at, though. And like maybe that's why Dolores is having those talks with Bernard. Yeah could be and then yeah i don't know that's what that's the feeling i was getting but i don't know how to put it all together i get i get that is a start of a good theory but yeah i don't know how to piece it together i I could definitely see that and that's why we see teddy's body but like his brain could basically still be in someone else but it's like arnold or bernard yeah like it's a fucked up wyatt slash bernard you know what i mean like remember he did that whole thing with him and he's like I don't know. Ford had that like minor talk with him, and maybe that I'm making more of that than I'm mm-hmm. thinking. Of. But I just uh, we see Teddy dead so many times. Yeah, I th- I just thought of something that I'll get into when we go into the next on, but that kind of counters that maybe Teddy thing. Oh, okay. But there's there's a scene in the next on that we saw a picture of a while ago from one of the early trailers. Is it the Bernards? Uh, no, but we do uh, get into that too. Okay. Um, but so all right, uh, we talked about Ford. Uh, May finally finds her f- mother fucking daughter oh yeah for fuck's sake thank god that's over so wait the indians come or um, what are they called the british are coming no (laughs) come on paul uh ghost nation so i think they were trying to get her because they think that mave is human now do you buy that i heard you say that earlier i i don't know if i hope you heard it i was talking to you I don't know if I if I fully buy that. I get I do get that. I feel like Ghost Nation is just like because they we, they've been painted as villains this whole time, but I think they're just kind of the only nice hosts in the fucking park, maybe. But only to only to humans. Yeah, because they killed hosts this but, episode. But what if they're only killing the bad hosts? Like they're only gonna kill like a Dolores type host, but they know Maeve has good intentions. Like, what if most of the Ghost Nation is awake, like Maeve? I don't think they're awake. You, and you, you don't? I don't know. Wouldn't they have to be kind of awake if they're saving humans? If their main purpose is to kill, they have to Not be saving humans. Anthony Hopkins is like, go save some humans. I guess. Go save I all guess, the I humans. Guess, I mean, the answer to anything in this show could be Anthony Hopkins is controlling it. Yeah. Um, But I, I, I feel like... Which I don't know what this means, but that's what he does. <laughs> that's just him inside I the I could have used him the other day room. when that rattlesnake was in that bush. It's true. Um, I like the idea that I saw on Reddit was that... What if all along Ghost Nation has been trying to save, which I mean, be, they did supposedly cut her daughter a couple of times, so it kind of goes against that. But they're trying to save her, and like this time she goes there again, and she's afraid of them because of her memories, and then they're there to save her again. I kind of like that idea, even though it's, it really can't be true. But like, doesn't she remember everything? Like, so doesn't she remember yeah. them killing her? Like the man in black, man in black did it at least once because they showed it. Yeah. But like, aren't the rest of her memories the fucking Indians coming to do it? Be basically, anytime we see him, yeah. I mean, 
that that's I just thought about the now as I was saying it. I so I I do like but that so, idea so, that so people are talking they, about, but I don't think it could switched, happen. If they switched, if they switched, like she's still gonna be afraid of them. It's just weird that she's that afraid of them. And then, but everyone, yeah, like dudes come out with but, swords. But, but, and she's like, like, she killed herself like fourteen times before. Like she's died before other than them, and yeah. that's what scares. I guess it, it's probably because it's with her daughter, so it's kind of traumatizing. Yeah. And like fuck new Maeve. Oh, the mom. Well, they. Just, Come on, and then the, the, the girl at least said "mommy" a couple times that she's running away. Yeah, but, but I was trying to look back to see what like what they did to the mom, and I couldn't. It looked tell. like they just surrounded her, and was just like, "Hey, how you doing?" Yeah, like it didn't like, look hey, like. Hey, do they you want to go much. to Denny's or something? I feel like Maeve's daughter, which because I feel I thought about this as I was watching it. She can't join the crew because she's a little girl, and they're not going to want to recast her every season, and she's going to grow up. And the host. Oh no, she's the, dead. The host. She's totally. Hosts aren't die. supposed to date age, and because in the next on, which we'll kind of go right into, um. Maeve yells, no, at the end. Oh, so and, like, you, think screams she gets, it. you think she gets shot next episode? So I think her daughter's dead. Like beginning when, First scene with Maeve, I think her daughter dies or something. And also in the beginning of the episode, I forget how it starts on Next On. But it's, it's, it's Maeve talking, but it's just Dolores. Says, it says, Maeve says something about in the dark, and then Dolores responds. I wonder if they meet up again next episode. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I do really like watching the Next On subtitles because I, I feel like if you were watching podcasts about the show, you probably think about it a lot, too. Um, cause it sh- cause a lot of times they have people talking. Sometimes in the trailers, it's hard to t- for me to tell who it is. Yeah, but it, it like shows you like exactly what they're saying, and like, yeah. I feel like it really helps. Well, too, like at the end when they say, uh, "To Arnold, open your eyes," or Bernard. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it could be either. You don't know. I played that the f- when I watched it last night. I was like, I played it. And I'm like, oh wait, we gotta watch that with subtitles. And mom's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Just." There's... She goes, "What part didn't you get?" And I'm like, "It's not that I didn't get it. I want to <laughs> know." And then it, it just says distorted voice. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was like, God damn it. I do like, so we'll just get right into the next Dawn. Uh, We see multiple Bernards. Finally, we're going to get that episode where that happens. Now, Charlotte Hale walks into a room. There's like 15 Bernards in there. And, there, and she, I believe she's in there with Stubbs and probably the rest of the Dayless crew. I now, I, I, obviously, I saw that. There's like, she pulls a cover off one, and there's another one here, and there's one here, and she looks back like, hmm. Um, she almost looks like, I fucking told you there's multiple of him. Yeah. She's going to be like me. See, I told you. <laughs> but see, like, does that count? Sure, there's, like, well, he, I think he's the, in storage. Well, I, I think, I think, I don't think that's going to reveal that there's been multiple Bernards all along. Yeah. I think that's just going to show that, like. He's a host. See, he's been here since, well, yeah, one, he's a host, I guess. That's true yeah. for them. I kind of forgot that they need that reveal. Oh, okay. Uh, but two, like, Ford's been repairing this guy and making new models of him since he was, I don't know, however old Ford is in those young flashbacks, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just to show that there's old and rebuild them, rebuilded ones of him to maybe right. even make him age a little bit, because like he would ma- would have maybe well I guess no Arnold looked exactly the same so he wouldn't even have to age him but I think it's just to show that uh, Ford's been fixing him and making new ones of him all like along updating him yeah, yeah. but well cause I just go back to remember the first first podcast we did on this season yeah I just I hear Hess in my head going. Oh, there's uh, got to be there, fucking more Bernards. There, there's and, more Bernards in every single scene we saw. Yeah, or and he kept going back to his glasses, which I thought it was funny. And when he goes in the cradle, yeah, he doesn't have glasses. And then when he arrives, he's like totally wearing glasses. Yeah, I didn't check to see if he had his scar and all that stuff. And I kind of forgot to check oh, that. Um, but here. what I th- find interesting of what they could do with this multiple Bernards is we see a scene where Teddy's dressed up like a soldier. Yeah, and I saw he's that. in the some kind of Dalos room, and I feel like that is Teddy from the future scenes. Because remember, I thought this last week, but you guys told me I was batshit crazy and dumb. I thought that, uh, I forget his name, Strand, Carl Strand, was, uh-huh. was, said, let's make these guys work for us. You guys are like, no, they just want to see if they can sell stuff. I think he literally, oh. literally is, like I said last week, making an army of all the dead hosts. And it's going to be Teddy on his side, and he's going to be attacking Dolores or whoever. Because he's in the Dalos gear, so I think oh, you they have just, their own army. You just don't think they like killed a soldier and he put his shit on to... Like, for, to no, because when he's in the water, he at the end of the first episode, he has his cowboy clothes on. Oh, well, he could get dressed again. Yeah, but... I like your theory I, better. I, I feel, that's what I said last week, and you guys said no. But I think that little tiny scene we saw, it was like literally like two, three I, seconds in the next on. The only reason I even noticed it is because I paused it because... I was I was doing I was getting off the treadmill and I paused it because it was gonna stop and I didn't want to mm-hmm. fucking fall and have people look at me, <laughs> so I paused it to like do my thing, and then because it was like thirty seconds left of the trailer or whatever, so I paused I was like oh fuck he's wearing oh uh, yeah so I was thinking oh well they must like kill some soldiers and then they dress like them to mm-hmm. like 
fake and, him out. And what I kind of have to still, I think, out that theory is, one, he wouldn't need the armor, and Delos doesn't, I don't think they would really know that, because they all shot at um, Dolores, and she's just getting shot like the Terminator. It doesn't bother her. Right. Two, we see um, Angela there in one of the scenes, and she's shooting at people in the map room. And she's wearing her normal clothes. So most of the people there are wearing her normal, normal they showed clothes. Up. And then they cut to him. They showed Clementine like it's, shooting too, I think. Yeah, yeah, they do. And they're all in their normal clothes. So why would just him put on the armor? Because they don't need the armor. But I feel like Dalos wouldn't realize know that. So Dalos, I thought it was just suit. Dalos is just going to put him in all that shit. Well, it's, it's, I hope you're right. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Um, That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah. And it's, but I wonder if we'll see, because... Um, in the first episode, Bernard has like a little flash memory of him in the map room shooting people. Yeah, I remember. And that. Anthony Hopkins says in this next on, "What you're about to do isn't your fault." Yeah. And Bernard's like, "No, like he doesn't want to do it." But he even did that last season. Then he had to go fucking kidnap Elsie and killed Teresa and all this stuff. So I think he's going to be part of their invasion when they show up killing people. And then that's when they'll take Abernathy and go. And that's why Charlotte Hill. Well, like, and when they yeah, that'll be exactly why Charlotte Hill's like, "Oh, what happened, to Abernathy?" In the future scenes is because he was probably helping them kill the first uh, Davos team, and then Dolores took her dad back. So you think Teddy's fighting against them there? No, I think that's the future thing. I think they edited that together, but that's uh, okay. Teddy in the so future. So they're going to show the future next. I, I think so. If my theory is right, they will. Um, when they show Dolores shooting, Abernathy's right next to her. Yeah. Um, and then I think that's all I got for the next one and everything. Anything else from this episode you wanted to talk about? I don't know. I really enjoyed it. It was good to have yeah. a good episode yeah, compared I mean, to last week. Last week, and not like last week. Like I mean, we said it was it was disappointing. It was, but it wasn't a terrible episode. It's just like like I said, we were so far into the season. I want to know these answers. I don't want to know new shit. Like, like if you're gonna do that, do that yeah. in the beginning of the season to make it matter. Yeah. And this episode proved none of that shit mattered, which is what I was afraid of and why I didn't care. Totally. Yeah. So I. I I don't know, but I'm glad it's back to being am- amazing again. I I loved everything except for going back to Film World last week or this, this and week. And I, I didn't mind. I didn't mind that at yeah, all. Yeah, and like week. I said, it w- it wasn't. It just wasn't my favorite part. I liked the fighting scene. I did even like when they. Burned I could have done the, without them uh, burning the fucking heart. And then uh, I thought that there. was kind of cool. Like the area was that looked really neat. Yeah, that part that was cool. But like they, bur- I'm like I I don't get that. I'm like showing the the fucking fish in the pond. Like, uh, I yeah, I did really like too. Um, when they were there. And um, it was Felix Sylvester. They're they're like tapping the well, like trying to find oh, the thing. Yeah. And then Sizemore walks up. It's like boop. And it kind of looked at him like, "Fucking idiots." Yeah, he's no help though. Yeah, he really isn't. God, I can't. I wait like for him too because to like, I don't remember. I think it's Sylvester. Is the white guy? He picks up. He yeah, picks up the head is. and throws it down there. And it's like, all right, you next. <laughs> and Felix yeah, is what, like, you motherfucker. That's what I mean. I feel like they're teeing him up too for something bad. Like, yeah, no, I do, can see like, that. Like, I would love it if he killed <sighs> Sylvester. Yeah, because like even last season when he got cut, he was like, oh fuck, but then like wanted to help him a little bit, even yeah. though he hated him. I want to see him just like kill him. I think that'd be so cool. I think that'd be cool too. I think eventually, like, it would be he's not gonna make it because he's on the wrong team. But like, yeah. But I would love to see him kill him and Sizemore, to be honest, especially after he's but he's like, I'm calling for help. Oh, you're welcome, by the way. And he just like, mm-hmm. walks away and he's holding the gun. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Like, of course, we don't know that they gave him bullets. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? It'd be, yeah. It'd be kind of pointless for them not to. But I do see what you're saying. I could just totally say, like, here, you just, it's for pretend. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's for your costume. All right, so this is the end of Random Ramblings this week. I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. Rate and review us on iTunes. And also, every Thursday, we do Theory Time with Plika, where we go over all of our theories. And we also talk about any mistakes we might have made the following week, stuff like that. So if you want to hear more from us, come back Thursday. See you guys next Sunday for more Westworld. Hello, old friend. 